Southeast Junior High. In Iowa City, welcome to Think, Make, Innovate! Wait, what are you doing? Uh, I'm getting ready for the uh, Spiro Golf Challenge. I'm practicing, you know, down at Southeast Junior High in Iowa City with the kids. No, 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 no. This is a Spiro robot. Although they are incredibly tough, I don't think that they're going to do very well if they get hit by a golf club. So let's let's put the club down. Put no, the club down. No golf clubs in a golf challenge? How's I this going to work? I know. It's absolutely crazy, but we're going to be testing the design skills of the students at Southeast Junior High by having them design a golf hole. They're going to put all their creativity into that, and they use a variety of different materials like Legos, cardboard boxes, construction paper, books, and one hole even used little bits. Huh. So will we be driving these Spheros or are we going to code the Spheros? That's a great question. They drove the Spheros. They put all their creativity into designing the holes and they drove the Spheros into the holes. And driving the Spheros can be an interesting challenge as well. Um, but I think you can take up the challenge either way. If you remember from our Spiro Maze Challenge, coding the Spiro bot to go through can be a really good test of your coding skills. Well, you know, speaking of driving, we've got to get going and get down there in time. But before we go, we want to invite you to come up with your own Sphero Golf Challenge. And when you do, we want you to share with us your photos and videos so we can add them to our maker community. And as always, have, have fun, fun making. making. We challenge you to make a Sphero Golf Course. So you um, planned out with Legos? Yeah, because yeah, so the kind of the format, so if it was this way, things, this part next. is that. And then we kind of just skipped this, but then this is that part. And then we go through, there's like all the arches, and then there's a pathway, and then the black door over here is this. So this was made by Alex, one of my friends. He basically what it does is when the Sphero drives into here, the light from it will cause these to start beeping because there's. I should probably turn it off so then we don't have annoying beeping. There's a light. Put that back. There's a light sensor right here. 
So when the sphere drives in, it'll start beeping. And an example is, is what it sounds like. <laughs> while making your Sphero golf course? Uh, it's very complicated. The Spheros can't go up half a centimeter. They can't go up half a centimeter? <laughs> yep. It's also, um, you have to get the, the sizing right as well. Like if you're making like a pathway, it has to be able to fit in the pathway. <laughs> and in like a doorway. So was this the hole you initially envisioned that you were gonna make? Or did it change a lot? Um, it changed, it changed. A lot. yeah, because we had to adjust our like ramping system so it would actually go over the obstacle. We didn't have an idea, we just built a box and added a cake. Made a cake! <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. What's been the best part of this challenge? Playing with um, stuff. For me, it's seeing everybody's creations and like testing them out.